Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me once again. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming into the first time. If you are regular, just to the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may well see what we do. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, today we want to look at the probable fact why uh, President Emerson Mnangagwa or Sanupi or, Zimbab or the Zimbabwe courts which the opposition claim to be captured. We want to look at the why they had to reverse the uh, High Court judgment concerning the 12 trips for CMPs from Blawayo. Uh, this is uh, just an opinion piece in which this, uh, this reader just put forward the probable reasons why President Mnangagwa had to reverse uh, that judgment. Number one, they, there was in fear of an uprising, fear of an uprising. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, what had happened the the, the 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 sequence of events that had happened just before this uh, supreme court judgment was actually leading to an uprising and there was a growing fear that kasukwere and chamisa were in a marriage of convenience to rally against ed of course yes we saw how both camps started to like work together and so they felt that they they had they were at the receiving end of sanu pf yet trade so they were working on a plan to come together to unite even if you're listening at the jim kunaka uh, press conference you are saying that we are we are, we are calling out on this on the triple c triple c supporters to come and join ranks with us so that we may protest together as a nation and protest against sanu pf so that union is what president Mnangagwa feared most just imagine the mobilizers of sevia kasukwere together with those from no Chabisa schemes they could uh, launch a one hell of a protest against this captured judiciary as they claimed so president Mnangagwa, sensing that noting that things could not end well if he maintained the judgment he had to mm, reverse the judgment and this is what happened this is what led to the uh, reversal to the um, granting of the appeal by the supreme court to the 12 triple c mps from blawai then the second reason why it is thought that president Mnangagwa had to reverse uh, the high court uh, judgment it was the issue of the 56 zanu pf candidates this judgment was going to affect zanu pf mps and this was also an issue which was similar to the one that was filed against the 12 triple c mp so using presidency at law they are also supposed to be affected by the same law so what i put it in munangagwa in zimbabwe uh, judicial courts noticed was that it was better for them to retain 12 triple c mps and uh, then they in that process they were also retaining their own 56 mps than to sacrifice uh and it would have never made sense for them to disqualify the 12 triple c mps and then they allow their own 56 mps as we saw that there was a a, a high court already there was a high court appeal against uh, raj modi from blawai as well he, in 2018, he was the only ZANU-PF MP who won in Blawai. ZANU-PF won only one constituents out of the possible 12. And now, a registered voter had taken Raj Modi to court saying that he must not contest as well in the 2023 election. So, it was a matter of saying that the same high court principle that was used on the 12 triple C MPs should have applied on Modi, then also on some of the 56 uh, candidates. So that uh, could not happen, and President Munangagwa himself could not allow that. So this is uh, what we have got that on the possible reasons why the 12 triple C MPs appeal was granted.